Hello guys, welcome back to episode 42 of our time with uh, Urubru um, in the uh, currently the, the top division of Swedish football. As you can see, it's doing all, we're doing alright. Um, this could be a bit of a defining episode actually. So I came back for the, the uh, Duge Gardens game, um, which is after a massive break. So we've had that massive break. Uh, I didn't actually put a friendly in there. I don't know why I didn't do that, but um, probably should have done. Uh, and we, we, we're starting on a bit of a run. So we've got Douge Gardens, Hacken, and AIK, and Norcoping all in a short period of time. Not easy, but if you come through all that fairly unscathed, you, you start to think maybe maybe there's a chance and the reason we're coming back today um so all the rest have played played their games and we're playing douche gardens douche goodens there we go uh who and we're just three points behind them at the minute which is which is utterly mad um we've only played i think a couple of games since the last time we we were no three games since we were together we had that away game against malmo which i said would be a good one not to lose we didn't lose it nil nil um yeah it wasn't too bad and then we've just beaten Kalmar 4 0, Asamoah, Ledu, Gustafsson, and Elumari, who's been playing quite well. Um, friendly that was chucked in there. And then again, Elum. Yeah, it was a missed penalty. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So um, Asamoah with a hat trick, and he got a missed penalty as well. Not bad, really, with uh, Brawson getting a goal as well. So uh, yeah, we're coming back against Douge Gardens. Uh, Gudens, I can't get that right. Uh, so I'm just going to set the team and we will see what we can do with this. Because if we can win this, I know I've said this before and we never do, but if we can, my God, it will be on. It will be on. Right then, so this is the team we're going with. As you can see, we have a few issues in defence, which may be a problem so we'll we'll start there uh, we'll start with the problem that we have so we have injuries to Chino who's not a defender of course but we also have Hooge is still out he's coming back but he won't be back for probably about three weeks makes it a little tricky and um, Ledoux is on international duty which is very frustrating um, so what we have to do at the back is to play Cali on the left Brawson and Anderson I'm not got no issue with Brawson I think he's a good player uh, in the middle and uh, Jonsson on the right he's coming back he's not fully fit and we were we had played Sandberg there in the last game so yeah we're really sort of struggling there um, we have uh, Gustafsson is playing in that ball winning midfielder role with Samare just ahead of him in the middle Linier on the left Elumari on in in the center who's doing really well as you can see uh, 7.98 uh, average rating for the last five games pretty damn good isn't it and Bengue on the right and Asamoah up top who is getting some goals so we will see what happens I think defensively we are weak but we've got I think we're as good as we can be um, pretty much going forward so we will see what you know whether whether we are whether that's a bad thing or a good thing I think yeah, no, uh, do do Gordon's are going to be hard to break down, and I would have very much liked Ledoux in the, in this period of time because he's a good good player. He, he's turned into um, him and Anderson have turned into quite a centre back partnership. So, but if we can avoid losing this, I think that would be an excellent result. Right then, let's see what happens. Jonsson, we know he is going to be troublesome. It's in. What happened there? Is that a, is that a goal? I don't know what happened there. Linier fires it in. 1 0. What a start. Let's have a look at that. Ball in to Samare. He just turns and chips it in, and the goalkeeper loses it. And Linier, he's there at the far post to shove it in the back of the net. What a start, but they're straight on the attack. Markovic, header over the top. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's nice to get an early lead. It, it, it Very, very nice, but. We know they are going to come at us. We know we're going to have to be on that metal. And we know Jonsson is the weak link in the team. And that's a shame to say it, but he is. He's a 33-year-old wing-back who's trying not to play as a wing-back. It's 
it's not going to go well at any point. What I mean, it's good at the minute. We've got 34 minutes into the game, and we've not really seen much. I said, is there a chance here? Gustafsson, but he loses the ball, and they've it's a bit unlucky there. And it's the sort of typical way we seem to oh straight through the challenge, Brajarak. And it's straight into the goalkeeper's hands. That was a terrible shot. I thought they were going to score then. So we, we attack and we attack. And then we get a, a ricochet and there's no one there to pick up the ball. And I'm not quite sure what to do with that. But it's a great first half. I mean, it's, there's nothing happening really at the minute. But that early goal has really helped us out. Can we hold on though in the second half? We're not going to change anything because why would you at this point? If we, if we bore the hell out of them, oh dear, Markovic... I thought it was going to be a penalty there. How many times is it a penalty? Long shot from distance. Shot from distance. No. Oh, samari has got it. He clears it. It's into Asamoa. What can Asamoa do? He's got the whole team to beat. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. I mean, he did well to get the chance, but you, you knew what was happening as soon as he picked it up. It, it, it weren't going in the back of the net. That was for sure. Right then, we, we're gonna we're gonna hit the praise button again because I think we've have been massively impressed with every single man on this pitch to be able to do what we're doing here very very good umbengue do we want to do we want to make a change is the question linear has got the goal is there somewhere we could have i mean obviously at the back we're struggling a little bit i think the obvious change for me is Sorensen on for gustafsson just some fresh legs at the back there um, we know both of those are very, very good players and they're rotating brilliantly. We ain't going to bring Sandberg on unless we have to. We ain't going to bring Kajal on unless we have to. Um, 86 minutes in, though. Omari, what's happening here? Omari, he's, he's running clear. He's running clear. He's got a chance. Oh, for Pete's sake. Right. Oh, right, but I, we, we kind of sneak through to 86 minutes and I'm, I'm now, you can see I'm panicking already. Cancel. Oh, good God. Right. Um, <laughs> team instructions. I'd, I'd be terrible, wouldn't I? Uh, time wasting. Uh, we are 80, 86 minutes time wasting. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go deep, be, be more disciplined and we're going to hit that, hit that button. Eight, nine minutes we'll make a substitution and there's not a lot of time on the clock here not a lot of time on the clock we bring it off linear bring on Alstrand and what a result that is what a result that is 1-0 against Dujgens which is not a result we'd have got last year it's not a result we'd have got at the start of this year really we I mean with a defence like that we Jonsson, let's just have a look at Jonsson because he is pretty I suppose he's, he's still got a little bit of pace but uh, it's not a lot there is there to get excited about but he, he's done it, a lot. all his physicals dropping off like like weights in, in the bath but absolutely bloody fantastic, that is absolutely fantastic they did excellent, they really really did so let's see what that does to the league and we are now 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 it, it it all starts to become very very interesting we're one point and behind AIK same points as Dush Gardens I've said it wrong again Dush Gardens you can see a lot of teams a lot of teams drawing games and we were we were in there as well but that that's an, an important one so that suddenly makes a difference in maybe in when we come back. I think we'll come back for the Nor Coping game because that to me is an important one. We've got this one against Hack and this one against AIK. I mean, that's. Well, we could come back for that one, couldn't we? I don't know. I'm going to play the hacking game behind closed doors, my closed doors, and then we'll see what happens, whether the AIK one is important or not. We might come back for that one because it could be. Oh, we've got the Euro Cup. Oh, I might just, I might just throw it. Depending on what, what what's going on, I might just throw it. Because <laughs> you look at the run in there. I mean, that and last game, 
is a biggie. Well, that game's a biggie. But you look before that, it's not too tough. North Coping are suddenly back on, on track. They've started playing really well. But there's, there's winnable, winnable games in this sort of period here. So that will be exciting. Right then, guys. Well, excitement ramps up. It's uh, the first time I think we really look like we might have a chance here. If we can get Ledoux back and Huge. That's a pressing things. I don't know what I'm bloody pressing. That's why where's, where's Ledoux coming back? Return date on the 12th. So that's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad. He's not going to be away for too long. So he should be back. Is he going to be back for the hacking game? No, but he will be back for AIK, so that's fine. Okay, guys, well, thank you very much for dropping on by. Uh, I'll see you next time uh, for oh, another massive game. Um, either AIK or Norcoping, we will have to wait and see. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like the video, uh, hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you are new. Uh, hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.